Tapos loko, kailangan ko ba abutin yung windshield sa sobrang layo. As in, I can't reach the windshield from my seating position. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? It's so tiny! You know what? In an, in in any other car, I wouldn't have thought of doing that. <sighs> I'm just talking, and you're if you're still watching, what the frick are you doing with your life? Hi guys! So today we're here at Vinfast Edsa to check out the VF3. So we have this cutie pie over here. No, cute kami pareho. Well, mas cute siya. So this is a fully electric vehicle that's super perfect for your city roundabout stuff. So let's go check it out. And spoiler alert, this is equivalent to a 50 kilometers per liter na ice car. Sobrang tipid if a fuel up. Well, it charge. More on that later. But first, let's do a quick walk around. So over here, we get this really cute look. It looks aggressive and cute. So pwede pala siyang pagsabay na cute and aggressive. We get the VinFast logo here up top. Ayan, it goes across the whole fascia. I like the way how the logo integrates to the headlights. Super cute. And we have this plastic trim that goes around the whole car, making it look super cohesive. So here we have 16-inch Steely. So we're on a Trezzo SH29 for this. And guys, alam nyo ba? It's rear-wheel drive! Wala lang, sorry, unahin ko lang kasi natutuwa ko na rear-wheel drive siya. So I really love this color. It looks so aesthetic. Ayan, so we got a Creator's Edition badge over here. I like the way yung side profile niya. And I like the way the rear quarter glass just... Whoop. Ayan, no, may pag siya. Cute! So if you check out the fender flares, it makes it look really macho for such a cutie pie. Ayan, ang cute. And this is what the rear looks like. So again, yun yung plastic fenders. It continues all the way to the rear, making it look smaller, tighter, and more cohesive. So let's open up the trunk. Ayan. Whoop. So Shepard, not much space. It's a small car, but we can fold the seats down. Ayan. Let's do a me for scale. It's a me for scale. Ayan. Shepard, madaling umupo dito, madaling tumambay. It's cute, it's tiny. I look so big to the big lock. It's, it's such a small car. So let's try to go in. Pa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my headroom. Pa siya. Oh my god. Oh you know, Meron pa. Pwede ka mag ano, cocoon size snap dito. So kasha naman vlog in Jess. So feeling ko dalawang pinagpatong na naka fetal position chini ang kasha dito sa rear. Pag naka fold yung seats. And you also have a grab handle here to help you close it. Ching! That thud though! So the only maintenance bit here up front is this windshield washer tab. So this is 40 horsepower and 110 newton meters of torque. Now, that might not sound much, but... This is less than 900 kilos. And usually our gripe about EVs is that it's heavy. Well, this is not heavy. And add that to the instant torque of an electric motor, it really feels more powerful than what the spec sheet indicates. Power to weight. Power to weight. Because guys, usually our EVs, they're usually around 2 tons and above. So it's really refreshing to have an EV that's less than a ton. Tapos look at the motor, guys. Do you guys see that silver thing? So directly siya na a bit sa diff. Ayan. Real wheel drive. And one thing I like about the VF3 is look, it's two door. Sporty. And listen to this door thud. Oh, ano ko kail yung? Pero honestly, I was surprised. The build quality is pretty good. Okay, now let's have a look inside. What I like about the VF3 is look at how wide the door opens. That's almost 90 degrees. So ingress and egress into the car is very easy. Oh, tina mo. Usually I do this for second row, pero for the driver. Oh wow, easy. Shank. Kitang kita mo yung buong pagkatao ko. So for this one, we have recline, adjust, and forward, backward. The seating is a bit upright. I can see everything out of the car. And the steering is so amply sized. Tapos din mo headroom mo. Wow! Look at the headroom. Chining! Ready? Let's check it out. And insert the key here. And start up sequence. It's a yawn. So here we have a really amplified wheel. It's also small, so perfect 
for those really tight maneuvers. Turn radius is pretty good. More on that later. So here we have a shift stick. Ayan. We have an 8-inch infotainment display over here. And we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So this screen also serves as our instrument cluster. And dito na display yung ating gears and our range. And we have aircon. I love the knobs, physical aircon buttons. This is one of my gripes with more modern cars. Hindi na siya actual buttons. And this one has actual buttons. I love it. So for the VF3, we have our window controls over here. So, ayan, tina mo. Parang Euro style na center mount siya. Very nice. I also love the mixed materials. We have glossy plastic here. Light grays, dark grays. It matches the seat. Ayan, tina mo. It's actually a tri-colored seat with white stitch. I like the fabric. Parang hindi siya dumihin. And it looks really good. It looks really premium. So one thing that surprised me is the VF3 is actually so spacious. Ayan, walang ano sa gitna since it's an EV. Ayan, here we get a Type C storage. Storage. We put our key over here. We got cup holders. Very straightforward. Okay, let's check out the rear seats, naman. So let's maintain my driving position to see how much space I actually have at the back. Let's enter through the other side. Running, 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 running. Okay. Game. So let's open this up. I we got a really big lever over there. So it's really easy to adjust. Check. So with my normal seating position, this is how much space I have. So it's a little tight for my left leg. Because I have a cup holder pa tayo. May cup holder armrest pa tayo dito. And we get a lot of headroom. It's not the tightest place in the world. It's pretty good. Spacious enough for this small car. So, it can be for those times that you need to carry more than two passengers. Hmm. So, this is our view from the back. Ayan, we still have some knee space and my feet go under the seat. Maluwag naman siya. We get our own cup holders. I also like the exposed panel over here. You see this really beautiful color. We get our seat belt. So, it's really four-seater, guys. And now, let's see how easy it is to get out. So, for the rear passengers, you just have to grab this handle. Plonk. Ayan. And it's easy to get out. Kasi tinan mo, laki nga ng opening ng door. Wablag. Done. That's pretty much our walk around. So yeah, the VF3 is a very straightforward car. It has everything you need. Now, let's go to the driving part. Okay guys, so if you like this video so far, like, comment, subscribe. And you can also follow us on our other socials. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Now for the driving bit. So right now we're here at the compound lang, wala pa tayong lend out. So really it's going to be a first impression sort of video. So first off, I like na it's maaliwalas and it's quite luwag for a tiny car. Coming into this review, I expected na it's going to be masikip because it's a small car, it's going to be cramped, but no it's not. Why am I wrong? Kasi ayan ang logo. So this is my arm fully extended and layo pa ng camera. Tapos loko, kailangan ko pa abutin yung windshield sa sobrang layo. As in, I can't reach the windshield from my seating position. So ayan, hindi ko pa rin abot, like super barely. It's a tiny car but at the same time, it doesn't feel claustrophobic. Andiyan nga si editor sa hindi nyo kita eh. Hello! Ayan o. I need to do this pa nga eh. O. Ayan, ganyan. Yeah. So starting with seating position, it's very upright, it's proper. Uh, I can see my hood. The ergonomics is actually really great. So even if walang height adjust yung seat, they have it in the right place naman. So no need naman. The door sills are actually quite low. So madali idungaw sa side dock if I'm gonna hit anything. So kahit wala ka 360 camera, you don't really need it. Madali siya i-maneuver around. Kasi you can see out of the car. And that's very rare for more modern cars today. So now we're gonna go to the basement kasi matarik tong wrap na to. So we're gonna check the power. Turn radius test, turn radius test. Oh, that's so tight. Really nice. Okay, checking out the brakes. It's quite direct. So, kahit matarek, hindi okay na kabahan sa preno pa baba. Wait lang, check tarin natin yung lights while we're at it. Ayan. Ample. It, uh, look, I'm lit up already. Ayan. So, it, the, the parking space here is quite tight, but. We're maneuvering here, no problem. So super perfect for city driving. So it's so tiny. There's, you know, you don't have to think a lot about if you're gonna fit or not, because surely you're gonna fit. And so this U-turn is quite tight. So we're gonna do the turn radius test now before the power test. Ayan. Okay, max lock. Oh, we're gonna make it. Okay. 
Okay, ito pala, my foot is not gashing. Ayan. So, look at that torque. That 110 nm of torque. Oh, ito, ito, ito pa ako. Oh, we're going up. So torquey. So, kahit 40? Kahit 40 horsepower lang siya. Look at my foot. Ayan. So, instant torque because of that electric motor. Wow. Okay, so let's just try to punch the throttle and see the 40 horsepower. Okay, let's try to punch it. <laughs> you wouldn't think this 40 horsepower because of that instantaneous torque. So, pwede, pwede siya. Like, it's gonna be zippy. It's gonna be easy to sing it sa traffic because you're so tiny and you have this much torque. Actually, I feel like it's going to The motor was just winding up. Pa. If we had more space, definitely. We'll see. So we're going to slalom this. Ayan, no. Oh, tina mo. Oh, diba? Oh. Max lock. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? It's so tiny. You know what? In, an, in, in any other car, I wouldn't have thought of doing that. That's crazy! The turn radius! So really, for a city roundabout, not bad, not bad. So you have ample power, it's easy to maneuver, you're tiny. Actually, you know what? Perfect as a first college car type of situation. You go home, you charge at night, and then you go to school. Hindi ka mayrapan maghanap ng parking kasi you're tiny. Wala ka pa coding kasi this is an EV. Pwede! And then, uh, if you put it in gasoline terms, yung full tank was just right, right about 250 pesos. Tapos, that's already 210 kilometers of range. So, mapatak, it's just 1.2 pesos per kilometer for the VF3. So, to put it in gasoline car terms, para siyang 50 kilometers per liter na gasoline car. Yun yung equivalent niya. Imagine 50 kilometers per liter, pero again, electric. So, ayun, just to put it in gas terms. The math is down below, by the way, so mga gusto makita how we computed for that. So we made these calculations based on the spec sheet of the VF3. Based on the spec sheet, ito yung acclaimed charging times niya. Ayan, here on the screen. But if you think about it, it's only an 18.9 kilowatt hour battery. So kung may 7 kilowatt charger ka, that makes it mga 3 hours ish lang yung charging time. And for reference, yung 7 kilowatt per hour charger, yun yung mga the same one sa SM. So yun nga, you just ano, go home, plug it in overnight, and for the next day, you have your 210 kilometers of range again. Which hindi mo mauubo sa isang araw. And to do saying na ang tagal pa rin ang charging time na yan, guys, Makati to Cubao is just 10 kilometers. So, hello? So let's say na 50 kilometers kalayo yung commute mo every day. So malayo na yun, di ba? That's still only one fourth of the capacity. So, you know, you're not charging naman every night na 0 to 100 battery, the ba? Kasi, yun nga, at most mo about 25% of the battery or 50 kilometers. So, realistically, mga one hour or less a day ka lang mga charge. Eh. So, imagine mo, pag uwi mo, nag plug ka ng kotse, naligo ka, nagluto ka, kumain ka. By the time you're done with all of that, full charge na yung car. So, ready ka na for work tomorrow, the boss, Lee. So, don't at me, someone is saying, oh, matagal pa rin mag charge. So if you're looking for a city roundabout na hindi lang cute ang looks, cute din ang ano, effect sa wallet mo, give the VF3 a look. So we're here at VinFast Ed, so you can check it out here or the one in Ashana. But yeah, this is definitely something to consider. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye! Uwi ko na kaya ito.